Hello everybody, this is Vicious1788, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. Alright, so look, the last time we left off, we just entered the first Dark World dungeon, so let's get underway here and make our way out of this dungeon. So, going down those stairs basically led nowhere. So, there's only one more thing to do. We can go to the other side. Ba ba. And we're kind of low on magic, but that's okay. And that guy hit me, which was kind of uncool. And that just opens up the passage back up again. So, what's down here? Alright, so we got some little lanterns that are shooting fireballs at us. Not a, really a problem here. Just, you know, run by and... Bye. Done. Finish finito. Out of the way. Alright, so open up that again. And uh, now that we have the key, we can get the freak out of here. So, let's get out of the first part of this dungeon and move to the next. Grabbing whatever we can. Hey guys, what's up? Eh, I kind of ignore those for now. And the first thing I always do is drop down here. Reasons being... Bang! Chest, which you acquire another key. Ow! Bye! <laughs> And it leads you right back there, so, uh, if you need a fairy, boom, there's your chance to get a fairy. Just sprinkle that thing with some magic powder, and boom, there's your fairy. Alright, so let's get back out of here, y'all. As you might notice, this dungeon gets a lot bigger and a little more trickier, so you have to be on your toes about, you know, what you can do. I mean, if it seems like it could be done, try it. So, you know... No blow your chance there. Come over here, boom, we're gonna grab another key. They always get the stock up on keys. Too bad you don't have something like in uh, the first Legend of Zelda, the magic key, which was like, you know, pretty much, you know, you had infinite keys for the rest of the dungeon. Um, I don't think we need to check there just yet. Um, let's go down here first. I think this is where we're supposed to be going. Oh, fantastic! <laughs> Stupid things. Okay. See, this is where these little monkeys get really annoying. Because they're everywhere now. And I hit the switch, and of course I fall off. Fan freaking tastic. <sighs> like I said, this is just more annoying just because you really can't get rid of them that easily. Okay, we don't have to go there just yet. Actually, you know what? It'd be a good time to stock up some hearts back here, though, because you can come up this way, and, well, first bombs, and that will open that up, but you don't need to go there yet. And I'm just going to grab some hearts there, and I'm good to go. Let's back out of this place. What's up, guys? Oh, we're going to have to hit this. Ooh, it's going to be a little tricky here. Get my face, boy. Yeah, get out! <laughs> Whoa, that was close. Too close for comfort there, I must say. I go over this path right here. And you know what? Let's go check over here real quick. Alright, what you want to do for this part is get some bombs, drop it there. And of course, the floor blows up and you can hop through. Whee! Like so. From here, grab bombs, marrows, and, ch you know, tread along here. I'm doing this video right after I just did my Super Cold World 1, which was a big pain in the arse. So, yeah. You'll see that when I upload it. And here's the big key. Boom, we got what we wanted. Let's get the freak out of here. Hey, what's up, guys? Whee! Whee! Just a little, uh, something you can show off here. Drop a bomb there. You know what? Oh, God. I'm running really, really low on magic here. Come to this part. Cut my boomerang again. There's absolute crap to these guys, but, eh. We'll take it. Now, there's three spots you can bomb, but there's only one that's, you know, bombable. So, it's going to be this one right here. So, blow that up. Come through here, and we're introduced to some new enemies here. Uh, these guys are the green ones are easy, 
The red one's a little more tricky. You have to kind of shoot and make him walk into the the arrow. Because if you try to if you try to face him and do it, he's just gonna um shoot ya, shoot ya in the face, like so. That so wasn't paying attention. There, get arrowed, arrowed. But anyway, this part just gonna run by y'all. Ow. Hey guys. Hey, hey, bye. <laughs> we'll get a map here. See the rest of the dungeon. And of course, we can bomb some more stuff. Bombing things are fun. I mean, come on, seriously, he does like to bomb something. Bomb some Dodongos. Yeah, I know, that was a horrible joke, but still. <laughs> Trust me, I despise that cartoon forever. <laughs> the Legend of Zelda cartoon that they put out was just an abomination. Now, me being a huge Legend of Zelda fan, had to deal with that. And, of course, you come here, and boom, we get some fairies. So I'm just doing this to stock up real quick. The only reason I came down here is just to stock up with some fairies, just in case. And we can't get down there just yet, because we don't have the item to do it. So let's get the freak out of here. Just rush by. Whee! Ah! <laughs> Curse you all, <won't> bounce! <laughs> we get hit by a stupid spike thing, and yeah. We pay for that. So, with that you know, acquired out of the way, we can just walk through here. Boom. Get out of here. Get those bums out of the way. So let's just trek right back out of here. And sorry for the small detour right there, but eh, it's good to stock up on fairies just in case. Alright, so now that we got some fairies. Ow. <laughs> but now that we got some fairies. Ow. <laughs> Gotta love that. Jump down here. Right, right about here. We can't go there. And it's blue crystal orb looking thing is trying to block our way. They're fake crystal orbs. Just to taunt you. This point I just run by. Because you gotta race against the floor. Okay, these things are really starting to take me off. Get out of my face. 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 Dude! God, you're annoying. <laughs> Alright, so we come in here. Now it's so dark, and you gotta watch out for those things. Try to take them out from a distance. And you know what? We're running low on health, so we're gonna pop a cure all. Which is good, because now we got our magic back, too. And we got our awesome sword beam of awesome. Now, this spot can be a tad bit confusing if you don't know what you're doing. But, you know, just keep poking around, and you'll eventually find your way out. See, like I said, it's a bit confusing because it's going to lead you off to other places. And the reason they give you bombs is because you come over here, drop that right in y'all, and boom. Come out here, and look who's waiting for us. Boom! You got the magic hammer. Or I like to say magic hammer got. <laughs> now we can pound those stupid weird head-looking things out of the way. Now we are totally awesome, and we're just gonna move along. But first, we're gonna grab this other chest, because it contains a key. So, let's equip our shiny new magic hammer. And don't get confused by the color, guys. They just switched the color for the Game Boy Advance one. Don't think it's some special hammer or something like that, no. It's just, you know, a palette swap, pretty much. Don't get all freaked out, like, oh my god, it's a super awesome magic hammer, like, no. Not a super awesome magic hammer. It's just the same old magic hammer. <laughs> and with our magic hammer, we can stop these guys. They take about uh, two hits to take out. If you feel really peachy, you can go around and just smack with your hammer, too. Just gonna swing out and pick up the compass. Woo! We are awesome. Alright, so we have two choices to go down here. Either way, you know, you're gonna go down here anyway. If I were you, get your magic powder out. 
and because you're gonna run these things right here and you get a lot of money. We all love the money. It's all about the money. Okay, and that's good. Come over here, get some arrows. And then we come over this way. And we get another trusty key. Who doesn't love a good key? Grab money. You know what? Don't get too concerned about money. And you'll see why a little bit later. But you know what, guys? We're running out of time, so next episode of Let's Play Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. We're going to make our way to the uh, first dungeon, kill the boss, and move on to our second one. I've been your host, Vicious1788, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Later!